guys, this is Lauren from Mama Says, where I talk about tips, tricks, and product reviews for parents. Today I'm talking about the 3-in-1 Cruiser Stroller. So it's 3-in-1 because it can be um, a jogging stroller. You can change this wheel to a smaller wheel and make it into a regular stroller. And then there's also um, a piece that attaches it to the back of your bike. So it's a little toe behind for your child in the bike. Um, so let me show you a few of the... Um, the features here. So the first thing it has a little mesh covering which is nice to keep bugs away and things like that. There's also this rain cover and another good use of it is um, is if it's cold out it really helps to insulate the stroller. So I know that even in the winter time if we would take my son out of here after being out he would be like pretty warm and cozy which is really good. Um, if you lift it all up, you have the area where they sit. So this is like a really nice sturdy harness like this. So you have the bottom part and then the part where it all buckles together here and some nice cushy shoulder straps. There's also um, this little mesh area where you can put their drinks and their snacks. So your child has two pockets on either side. One sort of negative though is that so my son, he's not, um, he's about 18 months old. He's not, um, I guess, talented enough with his hands, like not dexterous enough to keep putting things back in this mesh pocket. So a lot of times when he's done, what will happen is he'll drop the, like whatever it is, his drink or snack on the floor and it will roll back to the back, which usually isn't a huge deal because by the time he drops it, that means he's usually finished, but something to keep in mind. And in the back, you have a nice pocket for the adult or whatever you need to store. So I actually right now have the bike attachment. But so you have this very nice little pocket area here. And so one thing that I thought of too that you can put in there is if you're doing, if you live close to a grocery store or biking to a grocery store, making a little trip like that, you could um, put those in here because it's a pretty good space. And then there's a smaller pocket where you can put your cell phone, your wallet, your keys. Um, a nice thing about the handle is that it's adjustable so this is like usually the height for my husband so he's really if i'm gonna be honest he's the one that uses the most for jogging um we got it around the beginning of quarantine and so you know back when you couldn't well actually still were in that you can't really go to the gym and so he would for my son's second nap we would put him in here he, he had his little sippy cup of milk and he would go jogging and my son would fall asleep be asleep the whole time come back down with the jog, down with the nap, it was really nice. So I do not use it for jogging. I use this for walks around here. Um, it's a, it is a little bit bulky and a little bit unwieldy for just walks, um, in my opinion. But what's nice is that some of our sidewalks are really uneven and pretty bumpy. And like you don't even notice it with these big wheels. Um, there's also one other feature. There's a really nice brake right here and then you also have the flag that you can put up in the back so if you're biking on the road cars can see that there's something behind your bike and then it has reflectors right here also I think I remember reading that you can um, buy an extra piece and make it um, for skiing <laughs> so you could take it on like cross-country skiing trips which I don't really see that in our future but it's a possibility um, this also comes as a double stroller, so it's just wider, so two kids can fit in. And, I mean, it's pretty spacious in there, so your child can be, like, we're probably going to use this for several years um, as a toe behind, especially for the bike. Okay, now that you've seen a lot of the features, I kind of want to go over some of the pros and cons. So, to me, one of the biggest pros is that it can do a lot of things. It's a three-in-one stroller, which I love. So like I said, jogging stroller, pull behind, and just regular stroller. Um, so that's nice to have that. Um, so you just don't have to have so much baby gear. Um, I also, so we use it as a jogging stroller. A lot of times on the weekends, we'll do little leisurely family bike rides. It's great for that. Um, I will take it on walks if the train is gonna be really bumpy. Um, also, if we're gonna do an errand where we're either biking there or jogging there, or again, or walking, um, if we're gonna do an errand where we're gonna pick up some sort of cargo, like if we're going to the to a market 
or there's a little coffee shop that we love that has a great bakery as well. And so a lot of times we'll get coffee and we'll pick up some baked goods. So this is perfect for that because of all that great storage in the back. Um, so we'll use it for that. And what else? Yeah, well also if it's really cold or windy, um, like I said, it has that great like plastic covering and then it's plastic on the side. So it's really insulated. Um, so that's great. But then kind of on the con side, it is pretty pricey. It can be a little hard to find. So this is from a German company. Um, so sometimes it's in stock on Amazon, sometimes it's not. I, I also, I'll put the link to this in the comments, but I'll also put some other um, similar types of strollers in there as well. Um, so it's like it's pricey, sort of hard to find. Um, it's definitely bulky. So even though you can switch it to the smaller wheel to make it more of a stroller, it's still like a tiny bit unwieldy if you're going to be going to like the mall or museum. This is not perfect for that. It's it's not as easy to access your child as a regular stroller, though it's still not that bad. But usually I'll have this cover on so you have to like lift it up and kind of peek in there, but it's not terrible. So that's probably not a, a good con. Um, but yeah, it is bulky. It's a little, you can break it down, like collapse it, but it's sort of difficult to do. So we really don't ever do that. So we keep it in the garage. So storage is, you know, it takes up some room. Um, if we're traveling, unless we know for sure we're gonna be doing like some biking or something like that, we really don't take this because again, it takes up lots of room. Um, we usually just use our regular colossal stroller for that. But other than that, it's been like a really good purchase. It's been fun, especially during quarantine, to have like my husband especially, me, I'm not a big runner, but my husband especially, it's that he can go jogging every day in this with my son. Um, it gives me some free time to do stuff around the house. And then I love our family bike rides. And then, yeah, it just, it provides some extra um, possibilities to, of things to do with your child that you can't really do with a regular stroller as much. So overall, yes, I would really definitely suggest this or something similar. We've had it for, I guess half a year we've had it since probably December 2019 and right now it's who even knows July 2020 um, so yeah so we found it a good bit and we've loved it so that's the cruiser three in one I would definitely suggest it we've really loved using it um, thank you for watching if you want to get any other parent product review videos or different just like parenting tips and tricks then subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram and I have a blog with even more things. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day.